He's also America's premier manualist. Uh, it's been two years since he's with us. And he is here tonight. Would you welcome Hardly him? seems that long, does it? What time when you're having fun? Mr. John Toomey. Want to put the tools of your trade here, whatever they are, up here? Sure. People usually think that uh, we're kidding, but uh, when you say a manualist and so forth, but I remember the first night you were on the show, you had, everybody fell out. And I don't know whether we ever discussed how you found out you could do this. Were you sitting around? I remember when guys in high school used to do silly things, you know, like that, and <laughs> make rather obscene sounds um, to drive the girls crazy. Um, but when I found out my pa was a musician, it was really when I... I decided I should start to play. Did you just do this at, at the parties, or how did it come about? Well, uh, you know, as a young boy, I just kept uh, practicing and practicing, and uh, eventually went to Juilliard and, and uh, majored there in manual training. You know? Now, does the air, for example, the humidity, or where you are in the country make any difference if, if, it's, if it's real dry? Well, I'm serious when you, when you play. It's a, it's a real problem. To you try see, to it's a problem, from, Fred. From one area to another. Uh, you know, as soon as I got to Los Angeles, I had to contact the Weather Bureau, and they said that today there's only a 42% chance that a manualist is going to be able to play a song at all. So, you know, the humidity is such. Uh, I've had a terrible time trying to tune up because, you know, for example, the smog tends to make your palms vapor lock just a little. Oh. You know, it's this kind of a, of a burst. Could, could you possibly give me a middle C? Uh, Just to... Middle C? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does that, that do? Well, that's palm powder. Oh, I see. Just, could I have that C again, please? Uh, uh, can anybody do a middle C? Uh, Anything. Mm, mm, uh, mm, would that be middle C? I think mm. we have it now. Let's... play regular notes and everything. This is just no ordinary no. Uh, act. Well, that one note was just a little muddy. I'm sorry about that. Do you ever use this now? You're an attorney. You, you've never used this in court or anything. I mean, how's the legal profession look upon this as, a, well, as I'll an tell attorney? Well, uh, I've tried to combine the practice of manualism and the practice of law. Is that a pitch pipe? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Let's find a middle C on there. Pinch, 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 pinch. But you know, the problem is uh, there's not too many ways that you can adapt. I wasn't far off. Mm. Right. Wasn't far off. Good. Yeah, yeah. great. Close enough. <laughs> you know, I found the most effective thing is in the courtroom during a tense trial. Mm -hmm. Kind of wait towards the end of the trial. Kind of like a gotcha. You know how that story goes. And just as the opposing counsel is just rising to make an important point to the jury, you know. Just a couple of... <laughs> good, good. We usually do it. You know, it just tends to distract. <laughs> that's that's good. Good. Just a little bit. Yeah, that, it, that would set you free, all right. Uh, it's, it's usually, it's usually uh, objected to and... But you, you can know, do harmony and, uh, I mean, almost counterpoint uh, with playing this, can't you? Well, yes. Uh, I felt I had to develop uh, a stereophonic effect. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, one of the perennial numbers I've done is, is the Colonel Bogey March in, uh, in three-part harmony. Would you like to lead off with that tonight? Okay. Okay. John Toomey and the Colonel Bogey March. It was a Thank new you. little addition there, wasn't it? The humming with the... the uh, well, yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's kind of a three-part harmony. 
good. I'm yeah. working on a fourth part, but I can't really <laughs> divulge that. Well, I, 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 I'm not sure we're ready for a demonstration. Now, although certainly, in close quarters. <laughs> yeah. Maybe outdoors in a field yeah, right. somewhere. Would be nice. <laughs> That is. Do you know any other anybody else who does this? No. I have never met anybody who who does this. It's a real problem uh, right now. I I'm carrying the full burden of the country. Right. <laughs> Just not enough manuals, I guess, to go around. That's right. uh, I've got to get back to the practice of law, you know. And uh, uh, frankly, uh, I know that tonight, for example, there are <laughs> manuals. Uh, not coming forward to the public. They're just sitting at home playing with themselves, and I think that they will. Really yes, absolutely. absolutely. You've got to have an audience for that. Right. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> and their manual is starving in Europe right now. <laughs> Never thought about it. How many times a week do people come up and ask you to do this crazy thing? Oh, it's usually, yes. Uh, Especially I've seen you on national television now. I mean, you've got... It's usually just after meals that they request that you play. <laughs> or uh, if somebody's uh, signing their will, they like to have a little mood music. <laughs> signing a will. <laughs> <Right. Bless. laughs> That's, I, you know, I still, it still amazes me because I'm still not able to get one single sound. Show me again the, the whole. Well, with your left hand, I'm, I'm a right-handed man. Right. Was. There we go. Now, see, you're getting a little bass tone there out of this side. You're playing my hand. <laughs> Well, why can't I do that when I do it? Well, you just got to relax. See, you close off all the air spaces except the right one. All right. Just <laughs> the melody comes out right here. <laughs> and then the, <laughs> the hind hooks come No, could through you do it with me again? Okay. Am I relaxed enough? Now, there, see, there's a melody coming out right yes. here. Yes. Okay. Oh. And then there's a bass. Yeah. I can't get that high one. <laughs> that sounds a little like a cow pulling her foot out of the mud. I still don't understand that. Now, when you do it, it's fine, but uh, can you? I think you and I got a bass The last time we had didn't something. Didn't we? Uh, there see. He... Now, see, he's a cross-handed manualist. Do you see that? Oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> Well, that's, that's, that's intriguing. Have you got another, another number before, uh, well, yes, before you leave uh, us for the evening? Yeah, a, the, a finale uh, or something? Uh, I think the, the, they, they asked if I could, could play the most difficult number, uh, and that happens to be the Stars and Stripes Forever. Stars and Stripes Forever is a standard uh, get-off number for the, uh, the baton is, twirlers and uh, accordionists. There's and triple, triple palming involved Triple here. palming, and, friends. <laughs> John Toomey.
Four. That is the nuttiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I hope it's not 